touch just briefly on the farm bill. Maybe I should say the lack of the farm bill. Um, I know that everyone that's in agriculture, everyone that's in rural America, you have a stake in this. Congress couldn't pass a farm bill last year. And Congress, uh, we don't know if we're going to get a farm bill this year. We need a farm bill. I, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in Las Cruces terms, Dr. Clary. Sitting up in Washington, D.C., it's, it's different for me to be in D.C. I, I just don't understand. Our nation's capital, where the, the Congress is, where the government of our nation sits, it used to be where you would have a discussion and dialogue, you would have some negotiation, but you would reach a compromise and move forward. For some reason, we can't reach a compromise. You have to be able to compromise. You can't always have your way. And it reminds me of, of back in Las Cruces, I used to cruise around with some of the farmers and we'd be checking the irrigation water and we'd back up and get stuck in the mud. And we couldn't go forward, couldn't go backwards. But the way we got out of the dilemma, we put it in four wheel drive and took off. Congress needs to put it in four-wheel drive and move forward. Uh, agriculture, life wouldn't exist without it. It's the food we eat and the clothes we wear. Farmers and ranchers in this country represent less than 1% of population. Less than 1%. Yet they provide 80% of the food that we eat every day. In this country, the average age of a farmer or rancher is close to 59 years. And as the Under Secretary in Washington, D.C., it really is my responsibility, it's my obligation, and I can tell everyone in this room that it's my commitment to find a way to keep someone like Nicholas, these young people here, and these young people up here, to keep them in agriculture, to stay on the family farm, the family ranch, to find a career in agribusiness to find a way to make a living, a profitable living, in agriculture. Uh, the importance of it is, is to send the message of rural farmers and ranchers and young people that are involved in agriculture back to D.C. to see that it is alive and well and thriving and sustain the future of the agriculture for the next generation. It, in 50 years, we'll have to more than double the production of what we're currently doing today. So that is the, the role of extension and research through the land grant system to uh, keep enhancing uh, management methods to improve production, pr improve yields, and just keep increasing because of the demands that we will have in the future due to the population demands.